Today, the United States also continues to demonstrate its enduring commitment to Ukraine with the announcement of a new drawdown of military assistance to provide Ukraine's forces with additional munitions, weapons, and equipment needed to defend their country and push back on Russia's war of aggression. With the announcement of this 42nd presidential drawdown package, the United States has committed more than $41.3 billion in military assistance since Russia first launched its unprovoked and brutal war against Ukraine on February 24, 2022. Some of the capabilities in today's $800 million drawdown package include 155-millimeter artillery rounds, including dual-purpose imp uh, improved conventional munitions, or DPICMs, and 105-millimeter artillery rounds, additional munitions for Patriot air defense systems and ammunition for high-mobility artillery rocket systems, or HIMARS, additional Bradley infantry fighting vehicles, additional striker armored personnel carriers, precision aerial munitions, demolition munitions and systems for obstacle clearing, and various uh, spare parts and operational sustainment equipment. The DPICM rounds we will provide Ukraine have an extremely low failure or dud rate. The DPICM ammunition we are delivering to Ukraine will consist only of those with a dud rate less than 2.35%. Compare that to Russia, which has been using cl cluster munitions across Ukraine with dud rates of between 30 and 40%. We're working with Ukraine to minimize the risks associated with the decision. The Ukrainian government has offered us assurances in writing on the responsible use of DPICMs, including that they will not use the rounds in civilian populated urban environments, and that they will record where they use these rounds, which will simplify later demining efforts. We have hundreds of thousands of these uh, rounds available below the dud rate threshold that I mentioned, but I'm not going to tip our hand uh, to the Russians about knowing what's coming and what volume when. I will say we're confident that with this inflow of DPICM in combination with the unitary 155 rounds we continue uh, to provide, uh, that the Ukrainians uh, will be able to sustain uh, the artillery fight uh, for the foreseeable future, which I said is not only important in the moment for the uh, counteroffensive, but to signal to Vladimir Putin that he can't just uh, outlast uh, the, the Ukrainians.